Are we live? Are we live? I think we're live, guys. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. Just give me one second, guys, to, just to get set up. And then we will make a start, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay, guys, so, so sorry yeah, about obviously starting late. Today. I'm sorry, actually, I apologize so much. The plan was it meant to yeah, start at one o'clock today. But there was yeah, a couple of delays, but we are live now. So we will be live for around 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Going through, yeah, just my general questions. Okay. Guys, can you hear me? Let me know in the chat. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Are we live, guys? Can you hear me? Hello, user one three five five six. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome, user. I think we can hear me, guys. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Guys, talk to me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, user. Hope you're well. Guys, so, so sorry, obviously, about starting late today. I actually do apologize. Okay. But yeah. Hello, Radio Rash. Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. Guys, we'll give it about five minutes here, and then we'll make a start. Okay. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Okay, sorry guys, yeah, for being obviously a little bit late. I apologize deeply. Okay, hopefully you can forgive me. Okay, hello Rodney, welcome my friend, welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Hello Rodney, welcome my friend, hope you're well. Guys, if you're in here, make sure you're following, tap the screen, share the live out. Okay, everyone knows the drill. But thanks so much, yeah, thank you, you user, you know, for liking. Hello Amy, welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Hello, hello, hope you're well. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you for joining. Hello, hello. Hope everyone's doing well. Guys, guys, let me know. Can you hear me? Is everything clear? Hello, hot man. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Hello, Shard. Welcome, welcome. Okay. What am I doing, guys? Is I'll, I'll actually close it from there because yeah. Hello, Meth Boo. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're well. Guys, we'll make a start, yeah, in about two to three minutes. Okay. Just want to give a chance here for people to join. Hello, user. Hello, Jake. Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello, user 9 and 1. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. So today, yeah, we're going to be focusing on, yeah, equations and inequalities. Okay, so doing some recap on that for the summer holiday edition. Okay. But yeah. I'll put it on there so you can see the screen. Hello, Kaya. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Guys, sorry that I'm a bit late, actually. Sorry, I'm a bit, actually, a bit late, actually. I apologize, guys, for being almost two hours late. Okay, I'm so, so sorry. I, I apologize, okay. Hopefully, you're able to forgive me. Yeah. Because, yeah, if you're in here, tap the screen, guys. Share the live out. Okay. And let me know, is the audio clear, guys, or not? Hello, Kaya. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Thanks so much, yeah. Thank you for joining today, Kaya. Hope you're well. Thanks so much, yeah. Thank you, Kaya, for liking. Guys, almost 1K likes, guys. That is absolutely awesome. I've been live. Awesome, okay. Kaya says audio is clear. Awesome, awesome, okay. Well, guys, we'll, we'll literally make a start yet yeah, in like the next minute. So keep tapping, keep sharing the live out, guys. Okay, anyone that is doing their GCSEs next year, please feel free to obviously share this account with them. Okay, I'm posting actually quite a lot, okay. But yeah, the plan for this week, guys, yeah, hopefully, is I'm going to try and go live, yeah, every day. 
for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, nice, short, sharp burst live. Okay, nothing too stressful or too, um, yeah, like, um, henuous is that a word actually, or like too, yeah, like too demanding. Okay, this is all about, yeah, like easing ourselves back in the school, okay, for September. Okay, but I'm aware that obviously, yeah, people obviously want to obviously enjoy their summer. That's fine. Okay. But yeah, okay. So this is quite, yeah, like nice and chilled out, guys. Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. And then we'll call it a day. When will I do trigonometry? So I will let you know, HK. I will let you know, okay. I've got a video on my page on trig. So if you search AMT 2024, yeah, on my YouTube, yeah, and on my TikTok, I have got quite a few videos here on trig. Hello. I'll see you. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. I know you, you replies. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. But yeah, um, check it out, Kaya. Yeah. So after the lavish year, or during the lavish year, just search my page, type in AMT 23, yeah, 2024, okay, trigonometry. And it should come up, okay. Right, guys, we'll make a start actually now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll actually make a start now, okay. So I know, I know, I know, I know it's not a lot of people here today, okay. So today's lesson, yeah, is about year 10 foundation, yeah. So equation and then called this okay, worksheet A, and it's from the White Rose Maths website, okay. So this is appropriate for fun, foundation tier, guys, but it's also appropriate for obviously higher tier revision, okay. But we will make a start, okay. We will we'll make a start. Okay, so question number one, we're asked to solve 5x plus 12 equals 42. Now, we want to make x, so we want our, our final answer to be x equals. At the minute, it's times by 5, and then I add 12 to it, and then I get 42. So, I've got, I've got to do the inverse operation. So, I'm going to subtract 12 on both sides to balance each side respectively. So, I get 5x. Okay, is equal to 42 minus 12, which is equal to 30. So 5 lots of x is equal to 30. I want just 1x or just x. So I'm, I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 5. We get that x is equal to 30 divided by 5, which is 6. So x equals 6 is our solution, okay, to this two step linear equation okay so that's my answer for question number one okay does that make sense guys yeah does it make sense let me know in the chat yeah does it make sense hello luca welcome welcome okay kaya says yes awesome awesome okay part b we have got solve 38 is less than 4x minus 10. Now, again, just because I've got an inequality here, same principle, okay? So treat it like an equal sign. So step one, okay, I'm going to add 10 to both sides, okay, of my inequality. So 38 plus 10 would equal to 48. So 48 is less than 4x, okay, we we want it to, to be, yeah, something here less than x, so we're going to divide both sides of my inequality by 4, 48 divided by 4 is 12, so our answer is 12 is less than x, or, or I can write it as x is greater than 12, okay? And that's my answer for part B, okay? So a linear inequality is treated exactly the same as an equation, okay? Except we keep the inequality sign there, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, does it make sense? Let me know what. Hello, Ellie. Welcome, welcome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Awesome, Kaye. Thank you for joining us, by the way, Kaye. Thank you for, for, for being here. Okay. Next question. I hope I've passed maths. I'm, I'm sure you have, Ellie. I'm, I'm sure you have. 
But yeah, thank you for actually joining Aliyah. Okay, I hope you do well on, on Resort Dash. Yeah. Okay. You'll be fine, Aliyah. You'll be fine. I promise you, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, I'll be here. Yeah. So um, next week, yeah, I'll try and do some like general advice lives for how to obviously manage anxiety. Okay. Day before. Okay. But I'll be here yeah, to obviously support you guys. Yeah. So any worries, yeah, any concerns, please obviously DM me yeah, on TikTok yeah, or Instagram. I'm gonna be here to obviously help you, okay. But trying to do, yeah, just try your best, yeah. Not, not actually worry. I, I know it's actually hard, obviously, said actually been done, okay. The hard work has been done, okay. It's just, yeah, a matter of obviously yeah, finding out, yeah, obviously, the actual results now, okay. But I'm sure you, you'll do finally, yeah. But thank you, much for joining in. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining. Let me know, but yeah. Any worries, Elio, just send me like a DM and I'll try to obviously help you. Is there a better tech for writing the answers? Um, what do you mean? Sorry, Kaya, what do you mean? Hello, Phoenix, welcome, welcome. Right, question number two Write in terms of X the inequality shown by the number. Okay, so in the chat, guys, what would my answer to this be? Okay, I know, I know, I know obviously it is a bit awkward like with the sign. Okay, so what is this representing, guys? Okay, so in the chat, yeah. Can you please tell me what is this representing? Hello, Taysom. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Musa. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're well. What you're writing now? Um, so that's fine. Yeah. So, so these answers are fine. Yeah. Okay. So, these workings out are fine. Yeah. Okay. I hope that actually answers your question. Hello, Fatima. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So the answer to this, guys, is X is strictly bigger than or equal to three. Now, why is this the case? Well, it says shaded in circle, so it includes the value of x being equal to three or bigger than three. So that is my inequality that represents this, okay? So x is strictly bigger, sorry, x is strictly bigger than or equal to three, okay? That's part A done, okay? Part B slightly more trickier. Okay, we are going to have like a, like a double inequality here. Okay, so we're going from minus one to three. Okay, we'll, we'll put our symbols in. Okay, again, we're going to put a line here. Hello, Martin. Welcome, welcome. Okay, but yeah, so we include all the values between minus, sorry, from three, but not minus one. So, all the values here. So, x is strictly bigger than minus 1, or x is less than, or and, sorry, yeah, and x is less than or equal to 3. And that, guys, is my final answer, okay? Does that make sense, okay? So, either one of those answers would suffice. Obviously, at GCH level, yeah, we, we obviously write our answers like in this form, okay? But yeah, examiners will accept. That, okay. Hello, Mr. E. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Okay, next question, okay. I'll I'll give just like five seconds here for, for anyone that she's screenshot. So screenshot this year, okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, let's move on. Okay, part B. So show the inequalities on a number line. So x is smaller than 3. Okay, so. The drawing for this, okay, it will be a hollow circle, okay, at three, and we're going to the left, okay. So that, guys, is going to be my answer, okay. What about this next one? We're going from one to five, but including one, so it is going to be a cooling circle here at one. And we're going to five, 
but we don't include five because it's yeah, it's strictly less than five. Okay, so that's my answer for that question. Okay. This next one, guys, let's just zoom in actually a bit more so you can see it a bit better. Okay, cat thinks of a number. Okay, so let's call it N okay, or X. Okay, she doubles it, then subtracts 5. Her answer is greater than 50. So part A, write down or write this information as an inequality using N to represent cat's number. So we're going to have 2N. Okay, because double it means times it by 2. So 2N subtract 5 or minus 5 and that's strictly bigger than 50 okay i'm now going to yeah sorry that's part b so yeah so, so that is part a done sorry okay so i've formed my linear inequality here okay so remember so take take the value of n double it okay double it means times it by two okay And then we subtract five. What about part B, guys? What is the smallest possible integer that cat could be thinking of? So if I solve this, I'm going to add five to both sides. So I have 2n is greater than 55, okay? Dividing both sides of my inequality by two, we get that n is greater than. 55 halves. Oh, sorry, guys, I apologize. Sorry about that. So 55 halves, which hopefully you're happy with as a decimal. So 54 halves would be 27. So this would be n is greater than 27.5. What does the word integer mean? Well, integer just means. The smallest whole number that satisfies this inequality. So, what's the smallest whole number that is strictly bigger than 27.5? Well, that would be 28. Okay, so the smallest whole number that Cat could be thinking of is 28. Okay, does that make sense? So, 54. Divided by 2 is 27, if I'm not mistaken. That x1, yeah, means that I'm going to have that 0.5 there. Okay, integer just means whole number. So what's the smallest whole number that satisfies that inequality? Well, that will be 28, okay? Because that's the, that's the next biggest number, okay? Obviously, smallest here that satisfies. Okay, does that make sense, Kai? Let me know again. Hello, Rimsha. Welcome, welcome, Rimsha. Hope you're well. Hello, Ums. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, Ums. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Hello, Reg. Welcome, my friend. Hello, Reg. Long time, my friend. Hello, hello. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, so next question. Okay, so we're looking at some potting. Okay, so part B. May obviously be, be a bit more trickier, but I'll give it a go. Hello, Reg. Long time, my friend. Long time. I hope you're well. Hello, user 1994.03. Welcome, my friend. Okay. Part A. So, for a complete table of values for y equals 3x minus 2. So, I'm going to substitute in different x coordinates to get different y coordinates. So, when x is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1. When x is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 minus 2 is 7, okay? This next one, when x is minus 1, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, minus 2 makes it minus 5, and then lastly, when x is minus 2, y is equal to 3 times minus 2, so that would be minus 6, minus 6 minus 2 will be minus 8 so they are okay my y values yeah based on those x coordinates okay does that make sense yeah does it make sense let me know yeah i'm good thank you reggie i'm i'm, I'm good thank you reggie how how are you doing reg long time up and yeah long time
Awesome. Okay, so Reg says yes. Awesome, Reg. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Yeah, today actually, Reg. Yeah. Thank you for joining yeah, during your summer break. Okay. Hello, Mo. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Hello, Tahmid. Welcome, welcome, Tahmid. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're well. Okay, so part B on the grid, draw the graphs of mark with 3x minus 2 and mark with 7. So, this part here, we're going to plot our coordinates. So, we're going to have minus 2, okay, minus 8. Okay, I'll zoom out for a bit just so we can see. So, minus 2, minus 8 will be there. Minus 1, minus 5, we'll go there. 0, minus 2, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 7. I would obviously connect those dots or crosses with a line. Again, forgive me here. If it's not like a perfect, obviously, line here. Okay, obviously, it's a roof. Yeah, okay. Obviously, the rule actually, sorry, that. That, 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 that is pretty terrible, okay? But that is my answer for that, okay? The next one, y equals 7, is just a horizontal line actually here. So it looks like this, y equals 7. Again, sorry, that lack of actually no ruler here. That's y equals 7, okay? And the other one is y equals 3x minus 2, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, does it make sense? Let me know. Again, apologies, but obviously not not being good this year. But, but I haven't got like an online ruler, so I apologize. Hello, LS. Welcome, LS. Okay. Okay. Red says yes. Awesome, Red. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Well done. Okay. Well done, my friend. Yeah, well done. Okay. Right. Next one. Use the graph to solve. Next minus two obviously equals seven here. So here's the key issue here. Now, technically, you you obviously can obviously solve it here, obviously algebraic here. But the question says use the graph to solve the equation. So it's where these two lines intersect or where they meet. They meet at the coordinates 3, 7, okay? So, yeah, the solution would be 3, 7, okay? So x equals 3. Okay? Well, that's the point of my intersection, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, does it make sense, okay? So it's the point at where the graphs come here. Ah, oh, okay, no worries, Red yeah, no worries, my friend, no worries. No worries, yeah, no worries, that's fine. But it's, yeah, sorry, yeah, it, it's not actually what you're yeah, but it's, it's this point here, okay, is the intersection of the two lines, okay? okay. So next question, okay. Solving another inequality, okay. So, five question number five. Solve the inequality. So, we're gonna have 5x plus 17 is less than 2x plus 23, okay. So, treat it like an equation. So, get all my x's onto one side. So, I'm gonna subtract 2x on both sides to balance each side of my inequality, respectively. 5x minus 2x. Is 3x so 5x take away 2x is 3x plus 17. Okay, that's less than 23. We can now take 17 here from both sides. Okay, we'll get 3x is less than 6. Dividing both sides of my inequality by 3, we get that x is less than 2. So x is smaller than 2. And that's my answer for question number 5. Okay, so does that make sense, guys? Let me know if you Yeah, let, let me know in the chat, guys. Yeah. Oh, sorry, but you're trying to see a bit fast. Hello, Gifty. Welcome, welcome, Gifty. Hello, Random B. Welcome, my friend. Guys, if you're new around here, make sure you give us a follow, please. Okay. Hello, Matt. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, are there any questions? So this is not a financial sheet paper, Kyle. Sorry, yeah, it's not financial. So this is from a White Rose Maths worksheet. Yeah, 
Okay, but it's appropriate for both tiers. Okay, it says F for foundation, but this is also higher tier content as well. Okay, so this is grade four, grade five actually material. Okay, so all of these questions can and could appear at the start of a higher tier paper. Okay, that one. Okay. I would say this one, yeah, is probably actually most tricky. Okay. But yeah. Does, does that make sense? Sorry, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, Kai, actually, yeah, at the end of year, so at the end, yo, we'll do like a bit of actually trig year, okay? We'll do some like trig year, okay? Because uh, we've got actually some time, I think, today. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a look here at some trig. Okay. Question number six here. Yeah. The diagram shows the lengths of the sides. Of a triangle in terms of a, okay, part a, okay. Explain why three a plus eight equals five a minus two. So these two lines means that it's an isosceles triangle, okay, which means that those two sides are equal in length, and also these two angles are the same. Okay, so the corresponding angles to the sides are also the same. I know, I don't know. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. I don't know. Yeah, no worries, Reggie. Don't panic, buddy. Don't panic. Honestly, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine, buddy. Do not panic. Eh? Do not panic. Okay. So, this is a, yeah. So, whenever you have two lines on a triangle, it means it's an isosceles triangle, which means that the two sides are the same length and the corresponding two angles are the same. Hello, Leah. Welcome, welcome, Leah. Hello, hello. Hey, hello. Oh, yeah, Makan. Welcome, welcome. What a name that is. What a name. But yeah, sorry about that. Part B, solve the equation. So, step one, I'm going to subtract. Why is there an R here? Sorry, it's here. So, upside down R. Um, where are you looking? Sorry, where are you looking? Hello, Oscar. Welcome, welcome. Hello, I don't know. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, I don't know. Hello, hello. Hello, ghost. Welcome, ghost. Hope you're well. And thank you very much for joining us here. Thank you for joining us here. Sorry for obviously being later than obviously 1 p.m. today. I apologize. 3A plus. No, it's on, the, on the bottom side. No, no, it is, it is, it is, it is an X. Sorry, it is, it, it should be the angle is X. Sorry, angle is X. Sorry, Reg. That. That's an X here. Hello, Isla. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Bruce. Where are you looking on the equation? Oh, it says it says three a plus eight equals five a. So these two are the same, aren't they? Three a plus eight. So step one, yeah, no worries, no worries. I'm, I'm going to subtract 3a on both sides to get my a's here onto one side. We're going to have 8 is equal to 5a minus 3a. That'll be 2a. Hello, Shalom. Welcome, welcome, Shalom. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Okay, minus 2. I'm now going to add 2 to both sides. So we get 10 is equal to. 2a. We want a. So, what is our answer, guys? Yo, what in the chat, please? Yo, what is the value of a, please? Yo. What would a be, please? Someone in the chat. Hello, has welcome, welcome. Oh, is the, oh, sorry about that, Reg. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so Reg has got an answer. Kai's got an answer. Okay. So the answer is 5. Okay, so yeah, divide both sides of my equation by 2. We get 5 is equal to A. So A is equal to 5. Okay, part C. Work out the length of the shortest side. Okay, so we're going to sub in into here. Okay, I think the smallest one, yeah, I think is probably going to be this one actually. But obviously, I'll double check here. So. When A is 5, we'll have 5 lots of 5. So 5 times 5. 
minus 2. So in the chat, guys, what is the answer to this sum, please? Hello, Sui. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Guys, if you're around here, make sure okay. So 20 plus 7. Okay, so Kai's got an answer. Yep. Yeah, well done, Red. Yeah, well done. Yep. Spot on. Okay. So 25 minus 3. Yeah, 23. Okay. Let's just double check here. When A is 5. Ah, no. Okay, so 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 8. Oh, no, no, sorry, what am I doing? Sorry. That, that, sorry, yeah, it's the same answer. What am I doing? Sorry, ignore me, guys. Ignore me. Sorry. I, I had a bit of like, like a brain fog now because I've got, yeah, they went to the same length. What about this? 2 times 5 is 10. And yeah, so this one, actually, yeah, the shortest side, actually, yeah, so th this one, yeah, so it would actually be 17 because 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. Okay. That's my answer for that question, okay? So I'll give you just a minute or so, yeah, to obviously screenshot any bit of that. Okay, I'll give you some time yeah, to screenshot it, okay? But that concludes, okay, the first main worksheet from today. Okay, so guys, yeah, are there any questions about today's worksheet so far? You, you, so Kai's got thumbs up this year. So Kai's got thumbs up this year. You could know right away because if it's not Oh, yeah, yeah, I realized that. Yeah, sorry about that, Red. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah it, that, that, that was actually my fault. Sorry. I was doing like a summer sheet in my head this year. What, the, what the, I was actually talking. I was like, I was going to, that'd be 22 but, but then I forgot, yeah, that obviously the same length. I've I, I been actually a bit stupid there. Okay. But yeah, when A is equal to 5, 2 lots of 5 is 10. Plus that 7 makes 17. Okay. Are there any questions, guys? Yeah, any questions from any bits? Okay. Take any appropriate screenshots. Okay. But yeah, Kaya requested yeah, some trig. So I'll try and do some actually yeah, some trig. Yeah. I was thinking about doing a foundation actually tear paper now. So I, yeah, I had like a little actually paper actually over here from the edits of your foundation tear paper. So, would you rather do um, the start of a foundation tier paper or some trig? Let me know. Hello, Grace. Welcome, welcome, Grace. Hello, hello. So, would you rather do some um, exam-style questions from a past paper, okay, foundation, or some trig? Okay. We'll not be doing some higher today. Hello, Grace. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Long time, Grace. Yeah, long time. Hope you're well. This is one of my OGs here on my channel. Hello, Grace. Hope you're well. It's great. Yeah, it's great that you have, have you back again. But yeah, guys, are there any questions today? Yeah, any questions, Kate? Okay. Do let me know. Okay. Oh. It is me. Yeah, it is me, Grace. Hello, hello. Hello, Cynthia. Welcome, welcome. Hope, hope you're well. Okay. So, I think what we'll do now, okay, we'll do some past exam papers here from, from the foundation tier. Okay, because, yeah, I was making that nice and chilled. We'll do that, yeah, I'd say for about, like, yeah, 20 minutes. And then I think we'll call it a day. Hello, Charlie. Welcome, welcome. I know, yeah, Grace, yeah, long time, Grace, long time. I know, I know, long time. Been a minute. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Reg, I remember that. Um, yeah, you remember that, Reg? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, wow. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, Grace. How is, how is, how how is Evie? Is she all right? How's she doing? Huh? Oh, did she? Oh no. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. She. Oh no. That's not good. No, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, man. I feel for her. Honestly, I feel for her. Oh, no. Well, 
if you want to actually help us here, um, I can try and give us some like one to one lessons if she wants ever for like the you know, November she resets here or um like you know oh okay no worries no worries yeah no worries okay well yeah if Grace is actually watching in the future she yeah okay if you yeah does she reach out to me oh yeah and then I think the embassy sounds a bit a bit weird here but I didn't like read yeah re re reach out to me yeah like yeah you want some lessons okay but yeah I'm sorry about that Grace yeah that's not nice okay all right no worries well, message her, Grace, here, if you get to, I, I know, yeah, obviously, there's no, like, pressure from here, but if, if you can message her, send, send her, like, a message, yeah, and, and then, and then get it, like, get, get in contact with me, yeah, and then we'll take it from there, okay, right, guys, we'll have, like, a little, like, five-minute break, okay, and then I'll come back here in five minutes, and we'll look at some foundation tier questions, and I think, yeah, I think Kaya, actually, yeah, so Kaya, tomorrow, I promise you, we'll look at some trig, yeah, tomorrow, okay, so, We'll do, yeah, a dedicated issue work, here yeah, on Trig. Okay. Awesome, yeah, no worries. Thank you, yeah. Thank you so much, Grace. Yeah, I appreciate that, Grace. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you for that. Okay. But, guys, yeah, I'll back in five minutes, guys. Yeah, so give me five minutes. And I'll back in just five minutes. Oops, sorry. Okay. So give me five minutes, guys. Okay. So tomorrow, yeah, we'll be live around one o'clock, yeah. So one o'clock, yeah. Okay, so one o'clock, yeah, or two o'clock, yeah, the latest. Okay. But, yeah, okay. So, yeah, okay, so come back here. So, tomorrow, yeah, roughly 1 p.m. Yeah, or half 1 or 2 p.m. at the latest tomorrow. Okay, but yeah, okay, but yeah, press that follow button, yes, so you're notified, yeah, okay. Okay, but yeah, five minutes, guys, okay, I'll back here in five minutes, okay, and we'll do some foundation tier question, okay. See you in a minute, okay, see you in a minute. Bye for now.
Sorry, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Sorry, can you hear me now? Hello, Sam. Welcome, welcome, Sam. Hello, hello. Long time, my friend. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, sorry, okay. So, yeah, yo, know, I was saying that you guys this year. So, the aim of these love this year is to make it obviously like nice, chill this year, love this year, obviously nice, short, sharp lives. Okay, the aim is to make you five five minutes here, obviously an hour. Okay, but yeah, um, all the recordings here, okay, after each time, yeah, they'll go on my YouTube channel later on that day or the next day. Okay, obviously re watch at your own, at your own leisure. Hello, Sam. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're well. Okay, hope you're well. Okay. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you for joining. Okay, so question one is you guys here. Okay, so question one is you drop your answers in the chat, please. Okay, work out the value of two to the power of four. Now, what does two to the power of four mean? Okay, it means I'm doing some repeated multiplication. Okay, okay, so uh, okay, so Reg got an answer. Okay, double check, yeah, double check, Reg, yeah, no, Reg, yeah, double check, Reg. So two to four actually, well, then yeah, okay, what's the point? Okay, so two to four means yeah, two times two times two times two. Okay, so that amount of times, okay, so two times two is four, four times two is eight. 8 times 2 is 16, okay? So 2 to the power of 4 is 16, okay? This next one, okay, write 7.26451, correct to three decimal places. Oh, yeah, no worries, Reg, yeah, no worries, Reg, no worries. Okay, Reg has got an answer. That was quick. Well done, Reg. Yep. Let's double check. Yes, yeah. So, third number, yeah, obviously be four. So, look at the number after. If it's five months, you obviously run that four up to a five. So the answer would be 7.265 because the number next to the four is a five. If it's five or more, then I might run, yeah, the, the actual number, yeah, up one. And obviously, if it's less than five, obviously, you run it down. Okay, well then, yep. Yeah, spot on. Okay, well then, guys. Okay, so spot on. Yeah, if you've got it. Okay. So 7.265. Okay, question number 3A. Simplify, okay, part A. 7 times E times F times 8. Okay, so this is multiplying an expression. Okay, so 7 times 8. Well, then, yeah, well, then, re register that was quick. Yeah, okay, it will be 56. E times F. In maths, yeah, I write it as EF. Okay, and that just means, yeah, 56 times E times F. Okay, so our final answer here is 56 EF. Okay, because in algebra, we don't obviously write the time sign. Okay, make it a bit neater. Okay, what about part B, guys? Solve X fifths equals two and a half. Okay, so step one, yeah, with me, yeah, I'd write it as a top heavy fraction here on the right hand side. Okay, well done, Reg. Well done, Reg. Okay, that was quick. So that would be five halves, okay? Because two whole is equal to um, four halves. Four halves plus one half is equal to five halves. Then I'm going to multiply here yeah, both sides by five, okay? So we're going to have x is equal to five halves times five. So five lots of five halves. Okay, which is equal to 25 halves. Okay, so think of it as 5 over 1. 5 times 5 years is 25. 2 times 1 is 2. So, 20, yeah, so my answer will be 25 halves or 12 and a half year or 12.5. Okay, either answer would suffice. Okay, but I'll leave mine here as a top heavy fraction. Okay, so that's question part B done. Okay, so. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Are there, are, there, are there any questions? Okay. Sorry if I'm going to be a bit faster. I apologize. Okay. Reg's got an answer. Awesome. Okay. So, question for us here. So, write four fifths as a percentage. Okay. So, to go from a fraction to a percentage here, you, you times it by 100. K, okay? Or you can change it. Okay. Into tenths. Yeah, obviously, to make it obviously a bit, yeah, a bit easier. Here. So, tenths. So, times this by two. And that by two, and I get eight tenths. 
Now, eight tenths as a decimal is eight divided by ten here will be zero point eight. Okay, and then times that by a hundred. Okay, decimal point moves two places to the right. One, two, and I get eighty percent. Okay, so that is one way, obviously, of doing it. Okay, whatever method you're the happy this year, obviously, stick to that. Okay. But if you can, yeah, write it over 10 or 100, yeah, to obviously make it easier, okay? Because this line, yeah, this line means a division. So it means 8 divided by 10. Okay, so decimal point obviously starts here and moves 1 to the left. So that'll be 0 0.8 or 0 0.8 or 0 0.8. And that's my answer for that question, okay? That's question 4 done, okay? Five seconds here to obviously screenshot. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Question number five. Work out 60% of 70. So a percentage of an amount, a percentage of a quantity. So if it was me, I'd work out 10% first. So 10% of any quantity means divide it by 10. So that'll be 7. We want, oh, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Apologies. Sorry about that. We want 60%. So we want six lots of, yeah, 10%. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I apologize about that. Okay. So we want six lots of seven. Yep. Yeah, well, then spot on red. Yeah, spot on. Okay, because it's six lots, you have 10%, which is equal to 42. So my answer, guys, is 42, okay? I think one mark, yeah, I think is given, if you work out, yeah, like 10%, yeah, or like 1%, and then second mark is given by working out what 60%. Okay? Hello, you, Mo, welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Hello, hello. Hello, hello amazing Grace. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Grace. Ah, uh, yes, uh, yeah, that, that also works here. Yeah. So, so you can do, yeah, 60 times 70 and then divide it by 100, okay? Because percentage means out of 100. So essentially, you have 60 hundredths, okay? Of means times, so you have 60 hundredths, okay, times 70. And then if you simplify that, yeah, that fraction, you obviously work it out. You will get 42, okay? Either answer is correct. Okay. Okay. So you'd get four thousand two hundred yeah, on the top. So four thousand two hundred hundredths. Okay. So divided by about hundred, yeah. So knock off the two zeros. That will become forty-two. Okay. Yep. Yeah, like Reggie. Yeah. Well done, Reggie. Okay. Spot on, Reggie. Yeah. Good work today, Reggie. So far, good work. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Question number six, guys. Yeah. So question number six. Yeah. I'll give you like a minute or so. Yeah. To obviously work it out. So. Um, Sammy spins a fair four-sided spinner. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. spot on, Reggie. Yeah. Like either method actually works. Yeah, either way works. Spot on. Okay, either method is fine. Okay, so part I on the probability scale, mark with a cross the probability that the spinner will land on B. Well, the probability that it lands on B, yeah, is two out of four. So it's two quarters which simplifies to a half. So on my line, guys, where would a half... Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, it says it obviously there. Sorry about that, okay? So a half appears there, okay? Because two quarters is equivalent, the same as one half, okay? So two out of four is the same as one out of two, okay? And again, if you're unsure, do two divided by four, You'll get yeah. You'll get um zero point five. Hello, Queen. Welcome, welcome, Queen. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Asana, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Okay. This next one, part I I, on the probability scale, mark with a cross the probability of the spin lands on F. Well, is there an F on here, guys? No, there isn't. 
So the probability will be zero. That's impossible, okay? Because F does not appear on this spin, okay? We, 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 we only have the options of A, B, and C, okay? There's no option for F. So the probability of F happening on this spinner is impossible. Okay, well done, yeah. Well done, Regis. Spot on, Regis. Okay, well done, okay. So Regis is asking here, is there any pie charts here? I think there's a pie chart question somewhere. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. You want to try it, Regis? Should we try this one, actually, Regis? I'll come back to yeah, do the question in a minute. Okay. So year nine students from Hale School or Old School, okay, were asked to choose one language to study. Oh no! To, oh no! To the next one. Oh, the next one. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so let's try. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so let's try the next one. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So question seven. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So Fatima buys two packets of bread rolls, costing one pound fifty. Okay, so that that for me actually is pretty cheap for each packet. So each packet costs seventy five p. One bottle of ketchup is one pound sixty. Okay, guys, ketchup now yeah is actually crazy. Yeah. Uh, like, I saw like a TikTok this year, yesterday or day before year. Like ketchup being like four pounds in the shop here. Yeah. That is literally that is nuts. But anyway, yeah. So I'm 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 managed now. I'm, I'm managed. So I apologize. Okay, three packets of sausages. So Fahima pays with a ten pound note. She gets thirty p change. Fahima wants to work out one pack. Sorry, Fahima works out the one pack of sausages costs her. Two pound thirty. Is she right? You must show you how you get your answer. Okay, so two packets here. See, one, one pound fifty each. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, okay. So that'll be two times one pound fifty. So that'll be three pound or three hundred pennies. Okay. One bottle of ketchup. So that'll be three pound plus one pound sixty. So that'd be four pound eighty. So so far, on the bread rolls and the ketchup, she spent four pound sixty. Okay, she was given thirty p change, which means that she spent in total, okay, nine pound seventy. Okay, because she paid with, yeah with like a ten pound note. Okay, nine pound seventy. Yeah, obviously plus thirty p makes that ten pound. So if if, if we now do nine pound seventy. Minus four pound sixty. That will tell us the the price for three packs of sausages. Okay. So working from from the right to left, zero takes zero. I can't. Sorry, sorry, zero. She ignore me. Sorry about that. Okay. Seven takes six is one. Decimal point goes there. Nine take four is five. So three packs of sausages cost five pound ten. What's the price of one sausage? Well. I'm going to do five pound ten divided by three, okay, with the bus stop method, okay, or either option, okay. Threes into five go once. Decimal point goes there. Carry that two. Threes into twenty one goes seven times, and threes into zero goes zero. Okay, so each packet of sausage or each sausage packet costs one pound seventy. Okay, Behema says costs two pound thirty. So Fahima is actually wrong, okay? So Fahima is incorrect, okay? The correct price for the sausages, okay, is pound seventy, okay? And that's my answer for this question. So that's my answer for question number um, seven, okay? Again, sorry if I'm, if I'm going to see a bit faster here, guys, but I hope it still makes sense. Again, the recording year, obviously, this year will obviously be actually live actually on, on, on YouTube actually later today, or if not tomorrow. Question number eight work out five eighths times three quarters. So multiply fraction, okay, well done, yeah, well done, Reggie, spot, okay. So multiply top by top. Five times three is 15, and eight times four is 32, okay, so it's 15, 32, or 30 seconds, or 32, sorry, 30, sorry, yeah, ignore me, okay, so 15 over 32, sorry, okay. Next one, subtracting fractions, work out two thirds minus one quarter. We want to have a common denominator. So, yeah, three, three times four makes 12. So, change our fraction into 12. Okay. 
So times the left fraction by four, okay, we'll, we'll get um, eight twelfths. Times the second fraction by three, we get three twelfths. Eight twelfths subtract three twelfths. Eight minus three is five. So our answer is five twelfths. And that, guys, is how we subtract fractions, okay? That, okay. Is that okay? So let's have a look here. Sorry, sorry. Just, just, just give me one second. Are there, are, there, are there many questions? Obviously, here today. Yes, yeah, so we've got okay, 15 questions. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah. Once we, once we actually finish this paper, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll close. Yeah, like, they actually think we're today because we've got yeah, yeah, we've written quite a bit today. Okay, question number nine. Sean works for a company. His normal rate of pay, okay, is twelve pound per hour. When Sean works more than eight hours a day, he is paid for overtime or paid overtime for each hour that he works more than eight hours. Okay. Sean's rate of overtime pay per hour is one and a quarter. Hello, sir. Welcome, welcome, sir. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Oh yes, sir. I thought you actually posted. Yeah, I thought you actually posted today. I hope you're okay, sir. I'm, I'm I'm sending you my, my best wishes, sir. I hope you're okay, pretty symmetry, okay? I hope you're okay. Just uh bless you, sir. I hope yeah. I'm 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 wishing you a speed of recovery, sir. I hope you're okay, sir. Okay. Send me a message after sir, yeah, if you get a chance, kids. Send me a message after I'll I'll, I'll, I'll message you in a bit if I get a chance. Sorry, yeah. The Sean's rate of um pay Oh okay, awesome, sir. Awesome. That's good actually. That is good, sir. That, that's really good, sir. That's awesome news, okay? Thank you, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if you're liking it. Thank you. Just, thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir, for liking. Sorry, yeah. So Sean's rate of overtime pay. Oh, thanks so much, yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much yeah, for the roses, sir. Thanks so much for the roses. Oh, that's so kind of you, sir. That's so kind of you. Thanks so much for the roses. Okay. I put a target of like 50 actually today, but yeah, it, it, it's quite actually ambitious today. But thanks so much, yeah. Thanks so much, sir, for all the roses. Yeah, that's so kind of you, sir, for all the roses. Thanks so much. You are, yeah, you are a legend, sir. You're my favorite teacher, sir. Favorite top teacher you are. Okay, yeah, sorry, back to question, sorry, yeah, so Sean's rate of overtime pay is, per hour, sorry, is one and a quarter times this, his normal rate per hour, okay, so remember, he's paid that amount here yeah, after he's done eight hours, okay, so on his ninth, tenth hour, okay, so on and so forth, okay, so on Monday, Sean worked for ten hours, work out the amount of money he uh, Sean on a Monday, well, for the first eight hours, he earned twelve times eight, so 12 lots of 8. So again, yeah, okay. I can do it as 12 times 8 yeah, to the side. Okay. That's one second over this. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I apologize. There we go. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. 8 times 2 is 16. So 6 carry the 1. 8 times 2 is 8. Plus that 1 makes 9. So his first eight hours, okay, of his job this year, he's earned, or he, yeah, he earned ninety-six pounds. Okay, for the next two hours, okay, he will earn twelve, okay, times one and a quarter. Okay, so let's work out. Yes, yeah, so let's work out. Okay, so twelve times one is twelve plus. A quarter of 12 means 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So, it's obviously, yeah, that'll be 15. So, he's done two hours, yeah, that is over time. So, that'll be plus another, actually, 15, actually, yeah. So, our final answer will be 96 plus 15 plus 15. And that, guys, will be how much he's earned in the 10 hours of his job, okay? So, on the ninth hour, he earned 12 pounds. On the 10th hour, he earned, yeah, another 15 pounds, actually, another 15 pounds. Okay, hello, Connie, welcome, welcome, hello, hello, hope you're well. Thank you, yeah, thank you guys for actually being here today. Thank you for joining us here today. Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 6 makes 16, so 6 carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 1, yeah, is 11, plus 1 is going to be 12, yeah, so it's going to be 12 there, so 2 carry the 1. Okay, so in total... He's earned £126 for his 12-hour shift, okay?
Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Does, does it make sense? Okay. So he's paid one and a quarter his time or his time's salary, okay, for the two hours after the eight hour shift. Okay. So he's paid one and a quarter year amount okay, or times, okay, his normal rate post his eight hour shift. Okay. That's my answer here for question number nine. Okay. Are there any questions? Yeah. Are there, are there any questions or not? Or can I move on? I'll take it as a yes. Okay. Question number ten. But yeah, any questions, guys? Yeah, please obviously ask me. Question ten. A farmer has twenty boxes of eggs. Okay. So yeah, Reggie's got an answer. So let's double check. There are six eggs in each box. Write as a ratio the number of eggs in the two boxes to the total number of eggs, okay? Well, eggs in two boxes, okay, that'll be six times two. So six times two is 12. Okay, there are 20 uh, boxes obviously in total, so we're gonna have six lots of 20. So six and multiply by 20, okay? That'll be 120. So our ratio will be 12 to 120, okay, divide both sides of my ratio by 12, and we get 1 to 10. So our final answer, guys, yeah, is 1 to 10, okay? That's how we simplify a ratio, okay? Again, if you're unsure about that, yeah, about that yeah, obviously, they're both actually even here, so I can half them both first. Okay, so you can write it as 6 to 60, half it again, I get 3 to 30, and then divide again, yeah, by 3, so I get 1 to 10, okay? Either method, yeah, will to get you the same answer, okay? Hello, Gen X, Ru, welcome, welcome, my friend, hello, hello. Yes, Red, yeah, Red, yeah, that is correct, yeah, well done, Red, yeah, spot on, okay? Hello, Aisha, welcome, welcome, Aisha, hope you're well. Okay, right, next question, okay, so we'll do a few more, yeah, and, and, and then we'll call it a day, because, yeah, we, we are actually past actually time now, okay. So question number 11, a sequence of patterns is made from circular tiles, circles, and square tiles. So, yeah, okay, so we got four circles here, and one square, then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so, th so then we have eight circles here, and four squares. Okay, then we have three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, so, so then we have twelve circles and nine squares. Okay, part A. How many squares are needed here for yeah to make pattern or pattern number six? Well, hopefully you can see that these are what are called square numbers. So pattern number one, he wants it. Yeah, square number six. Because one times one is one. Two squared is four. Three squared is nine. So pattern number six here will be six squared, which is six times six. Okay, so it's recognizing here that the square numbers, or oh, sorry, yeah, the squares are here. They are a sequence of square numbers. Okay, so six times six, guys, is thirty-six. That's my answer for part A. Okay. So that one yeah, is, yeah, is, a bit, is a bit more trickier. So it's recognizing that 1, 4, and 9 are all square numbers. Okay. Okay. Right. Next one here. So next one here is a bit more trickier. Okay. So how many circular tiles are needed here for pattern number 20? Well, hopefully you can see here for the circles, okay, is the four times tables. So yeah, it will follow the pattern of 4n. Okay, so 4n. So the 20th one is when n equals 20. So 4 lots of 20 means 4 times 20. Oh, guys, give me a second. Sorry, my actual computer is just actually frozen. Sorry, give me one second. Sorry. So, oh, sorry, n, sorry n, n equals 20. Sorry, I apologize. Sorry about that. 
So n equals 20. So four lots of 20 will be 80. So there'll be 80 circular tiles for pattern number 20. Okay, next part. Okay, it's very much against here. Hello, Charlene. Welcome, welcome. Derek says, when the pattern number is odd, an odd number of square tiles is needed. Is Derek correct? So when the pattern number is odd, is that true? Well, yes, okay? Because square numbers go odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So yes, okay? Because the sequence, yeah, of this of the square tiles, okay, is n squared. When n is odd, n squared will also be odd. Okay, so don't actually panic here. Okay, so, yeah, it's a bit much more tricky. Okay, it's a bit it's a bit more proofier. Okay, because n squared means n times n. If n is odd, then n squared is also odd. Okay. So if n is odd, then n squared is also odd. Okay, and if you're unsure, I'll do a video obviously about like square numbers here. Okay, but yeah, the, the square tiles here, that's the sequence of odd numbers. Okay, yeah, if you're unsure here, so. 1 times 1 makes 1, 2 times 2 makes 4, 3 times 3 makes 9, 4 times 4 makes 16. Okay, so pattern number 4, yeah. 16 is here, 16 is here. Pattern number 5 is 5 times 5, yeah, which is 25. Pattern number 6 is 6 times 6, yeah, which is equal to 36. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, so these are my sequence of odd numbers, okay? Thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, eighty-one. Yeah, no worries. I don't know. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I don't know. Actually. Thank you for joining, my friend. Yeah, th thank you for actually coming today. I appreciate it. Okay, thanks so much for coming today. Yeah, th and thank you. To, yeah, to everyone actually for coming today. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, for everyone being so kind and chat. Yeah, thank you for being here today. Okay, guys, you make sure you yeah you press that follow button here yeah, for anyone that's like new around here. Okay. And check out content on my page. Okay, please, please, yeah, press that follow button, okay, and try and try, try and help me reach to 10k followers. Okay, ideally, yeah, by the end of August. Okay, question number 12. There are only seven blue pens, four green pens, and six red pens in a box. One pen is taken at random from the box. Write down the probability that the pen is blue. Well, there's seven blue pens, okay? So seven blue pens, <coughs> sorry, guys, apologize, sorry about that. Okay, out of a total, yeah, of seven plus four plus six, four plus six is 10, seven, yeah, makes 17. So the answer is seven seventeenths, okay? Because there are seven blue pens out of a total of 17. Okay, yeah, well done, okay, well done, Reggie. Spot on, Reggie. Good work today, Reggie. Good work, okay. Right, this one here is a bit more tricky. It's a bit more tricky, okay. So the diagram shows a tree and a man, okay. The man is of an average height. The tree and the man are drawn to scale. Work out an estimate of the man, okay, immediately of the man, okay. So he, he, yeah, I can't actually do it here actually because it, it, it requires like a ruler, okay. So you'd measure. The length, okay, of the tree, okay, in centimeters. Measure the length of the man, okay, in centimeters, okay. But yeah, as a rough estimate, yeah, rough estimate, yeah, yeah, uh, a a a a man's height, yeah, is like roughly a. Like, yeah, roughly like 1.9, 1.8 k or 2 meters k, okay, roughly, okay. Again, find an estimate for the real height in meters of the tree, okay. So I would estimate the tree, yeah, 
to be around maybe like what, like 10 meters yet? Yeah? Maybe, maybe much, yeah, okay. But what, yeah, what, what good question, yeah, what, what, yeah. So I'd say like 10 to 12, okay. Oh, yeah, so, so Reggie just said 15 inch, yeah, 15 inch, yeah, also actually works, yeah. So I'd say roughly, yeah, I, I, I'd say anywhere, anywhere between, I think, yeah, 10 to 15 inch, yeah, yeah because obviously, like, trees are quite tall, okay. But yeah, I'd, I'd say anywhere between, I think, 10 years, yeah, but I'll obviously put 12 there, okay. But yeah. I think examiners here are actually pretty actually lenient there. Okay, but that's that one there done. Okay, a bit more estimation. Okay, question number 14. Year nine students from Hale School were asked to choose one language to study. The table shows information about their choices. Part A, draw an accurate pie chart. Okay, so this I can't do it here, but I'll try to see, explain them the best I can. So, we want the actual angle is so, so we we want the actual angle part, okay. So we're gonna do fifty six plus forty plus twenty four, okay. That will tell us like the total frequency. So six plus zero plus four that'll be ten. So zero carry that one. Five plus four is nine. Eleven times here, okay. So total frequency here adds to make 120. Okay. Now here's the key. So to work out the angle, okay, is the frequency divided by the total frequency times it by 360 because angles around the point add to make 360. So it'd be 56 120ths times by 360. And that will tell you the angle, okay, for the number of students here that chose French, okay? So it's 360, guys, yeah, sorry, yeah, it is 360, yeah, because angles around a point add to make 360, okay? So this over this, year makes 3, so it's 56, here yeah, times 3, okay? Which I've got here, yeah, okay, yeah, so 50 times 3 is 150, um, 18 years, so that'll be 168 years, okay. So you would obviously measure, okay, with the, yeah, a little, actually, we'll actually, so I would say, yeah, so it would look something like that, yeah, as a rough sketch, okay, yeah, so obviously measure it with, with your protractor, okay, well then, yeah, well then, Reg, okay, spot on, yep, so Reg's got the other answer down, actually, okay, so 160 there, 168 there. Okay, next one is 40 120th for Spanish, and then multiply that by 360. Okay, so this simplifies to one third. Okay, 40 120th. So one third times 360 yeah, makes 120. Okay, so that'd be 120. And then the final angle, okay, I've got two options here. I can do 360 minus. 168, 168, yeah, plus 120, or I can do, yeah, 2420th times it by 360, okay, again, yeah, it is all to do with how confident you are with your times, yeah, times tables, okay, this actually simplifies, yeah, to one fifth, okay, so 24 goes into 120, yeah, five times, so this, yeah, goes to one fifth, so one fifth times 360, a little trick here by dividing by five, Divided by 10 and then double it. Okay. So, yeah, divide this obviously by 10 here, that'll be 36. Double 36 here will be 72. So, yeah, the angle for Germany is roughly 72. Okay. So, as a rough sketch here, roughly, okay, yeah. So, so let's look here, do it damage here. So, Germany, here, okay. I, I'd say roughly, okay. Oops, sorry, guys, sorry about that. So, French, Spanish, and German, but use a protractor, okay, for these sorts of questions. Okay, so use a protractor for these sorts of questions, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, does it make sense? Let me know, yeah, let me, let me know in the chat, okay. Does that make sense? Five, four, three, to one okay and we'll come back to it okay so next one here so year nine students here from lowly uh, sorry 
Lowry School were asked were also asked yeah, to choose one subject they study. This accurate yeah pie chart shows basically yeah, about their choices. So is it Shamin yeah is it Shamina Shamina yeah, I think it is yeah says the pie chart shows that French were chosen by more year nine students yeah at Lowry School than Haley School is Shamina right? Well, the answer is no. Okay, because we don't have data. Okay, we don't have yeah, um, data for this school. So the answer is no. Okay, because we don't have any. So they might have only asked you a hundred students here, hundred students here. So in that case, that uh, that obviously be less. Okay, or more yeah. Okay, so we don't have yeah the number of students. Okay, for this second school. Okay, that's my answer for that question. Okay. Right, last two questions here for today. Okay, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, questions. Yeah, 15 actually, yes, yeah, 15 actually, yeah. So, are there any questions, guys? Yeah, so far, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm talking to you a bit fast. Sorry, I apologize. Are there any questions yet yeah, about that previous one? So, the answer was no, because we don't have any frequency or any numerical data on the Lowry school. Okay. Hello, Young. Welcome, welcome, Young Abs. Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. I hope you're well. So here is a triangle and a rectangle. The area of the rectangle is six times the area of the rectangle. Uh, triangle. Okay. So from here to here, yeah, I divide it by six here for the area. Okay, and see, yeah, times it by six for that. Work out the width of the rectangle. Well, step one, work out the area of this triangle. So that'll be a half times base times height, or base times height divided by two. So that'll be eight times nine divided by two. So that'll be seventy-two divided by two. Okay, which is thirty-six. Okay, so the area of this one is thirty-six. Okay, centimeters squared. Okay. No, it says, yeah, so it says, yeah, the area of the rectangle is six times uh, bigger. So, yeah, so the area of the rectangle, yeah, so, so, so the area, so, yeah, the area, yeah, of the actual rectangle, yeah, it'd be 36 times six. Okay, so 36. Hello, Jess. Welcome, welcome, Jess. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Okay, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you for coming. Okay, so six times six will be 36. Yeah, so that'll be six. Carry the three. Six degrees, yeah, will be 18. So, yeah, it makes 22 much. Yeah, so the area. Of this rectangle is 216 centimeters squared. Okay, to work out the area of rectangle, yeah, we do length times width. It yeah is equal to the area. Okay, so we do 16 times the width. So 16 times W is equal to 216. So to work out W, we're we're, we're going to divide here both sides here. Hello, sir. Welcome, welcome, sir. Hello, 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 you, sir. Okay, divided by yeah by sixteen yeah. So W is equal to two hundred and sixteen sixty sixteen, sorry. Okay. So let's yes, yeah, so let's actually work out here yeah, with the without the bus stop method. Okay. So two hundred and sixteen divided by sixteen, yeah. Okay, so let's actually work it out. Sixteen two I can't do sixteen in twenty one go once. The remainder of five, if I'm not actually mistaken, yeah, is that right? Yeah. 16 and 256, yeah, goes three times with the remainder of six. Is that right? Yeah, because 16 times three it will be 48. 48, yeah. That'll be, no, sorry. That'll be eight, so yeah, it'll be eight, so yeah, it'll be, okay, so remainder eight, so yeah, so put different point, yeah, different point. Carry, yeah, carry the zero, okay, or put an eight there. How much, yeah. 16 to 80 go five times. So my width, guys, sorry, yeah, is 13.5 centimeters. And that's my answer for that question, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, does it make sense? Let me know, yeah, does it make sense? Let me know, yeah, let me know in the chat. Okay. So we started by working out the area of the triangle first. Okay. Then we times it by six. 
because the area of the rectangle was six times bigger. Then I said that the length times the width gives it the area of the rectangle. So 16 times W makes 216 inches, 216. So to get the width, I did this divided by this, okay, and I got 13.5. Okay. I got to keep, uh, there's no more, no, there is a shear, not in this paper right here. There's no more pie charts here, not, not, not in this shear paper, actually, sorry about that. Okay, last question here for the date today, okay, here, okay, so B equals U plus A, T, U equals 1, A is minus 3, A is equal to a half, sorry, T is equal to a half. Work out the value of V, so V equals U plus A, T, so V equals 1 plus minus 3 times a half. So. We're going to have 1 plus minus 3 halves, okay? So 3 times a half is equal to 3 halves. What does a plus and a minus guys go to here in the chat? Sorry, okay? So in the chat, please. What does a plus and a minus go to? Okay? So we got 1 and then what? So what does a plus and a minus go to, please? Well, then, well, then Reg case, so Reg got the yep. Yep, goes to a minus. You have one minus three halves. Now, I can write one whole as two halves. So, I'll have two halves subtract three halves, which is equal to minus half, okay, or minus one over two, okay? So, the value of V, okay, is minus a half. When U equals one, A is minus three. And T is a half. Okay, remember here. Yeah, so three times half. Sorry, yeah. So three times a half is just equal to three halves. Okay. So think of it as three over one times one over two. Three times one is three. One times two is two. Okay. So I get three halves. Okay. So I'm adding on here yeah, negative three halves, which becomes a subtraction. Okay. But that guys concludes today's paper. Okay, hello Jess, welcome, welcome Jess, hello, hello. Okay, but yeah, thank you guys, yeah, thank you for, yeah, for being here, okay, but that concludes today's session. Okay, looking at, yeah, just some brief, yeah, financial day content, okay, but we will call it like a ditch, yeah, and thank you for, for like, all the likes, yeah, and, and, and all the um, gifts, okay. The target, year was obviously reached this year, 50, 50 rows, yeah, so... Our tog here is to have 45 actually and more rows this year, but that, that, that might not be possible. Okay, but any gifts here, actually, welcome guys here, but thank you for any gifts here. Okay, happy to be. Hello, flag, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. So, this is actually just see it. Is it, yeah, is actually just see foundation, my friend. Just see foundation, okay. What flag is that? Sorry, what, 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 what flag is that? Can I ask? That, that, that is actually quite a nice flag, you know what? Yeah, guys, if you're around here, make, make sure you give us a follow. Okay, thank you for 3k likes. That's awesome. Ah, oh, Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. So you can, and Lithu oh, nice. Lithuania. Wow. That's awesome. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. Okay. So that concludes yeah, today's paper. Okay. So, are there any more questions or any topic requests for videos, guys? Okay, please, please let me know. Okay, but these lives here are designed to be uh, no more than like an hour. So, it's short, short bursts. But thank you. Thank you for the support, guys. Um, any questions here? Any worries, guys? Yeah, okay, ask me or comment on my videos. Okay, but until then, actually, guys, yeah, I shall see you hopefully tomorrow. At around year one or two o'clock. Okay, so tomorrow we'll look at some trig year from White Rose Maths and then we'll do some more past paper actually questions. Hello, Alicia, welcome. Up. Yeah, no worries, Reggie. Thank, 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 thank you for actually coming, Reggie. That's actually to see you again. Yeah, hello to you. Hello, Ethan. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Okay, but yeah, any topic, yeah, re request, guys. Yeah, let, let me know. Actually, so I'll dip here in like two actually more minutes here. Just obviously allow time for any questions here or any topic requests. Okay. And then we'll call it a day, okay?
Oh, 3.1k likes. That is actually awesome. Okay, that is actually awesome. Yeah, thank you for the five roses. Okay, thank, thank you for all the roses, guys. Okay, thank, thank you for all the roses. Okay, any gifts here? I really actually appreciate it. Hello, Elima. Welcome, welcome, Elima. Hello, hello. Hello, Esther. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Okay, hello, Susie. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Thanks so much here. Thank, thanks so much here, user. Thank you for liking, thank you for liking user. Okay. But until then, she then goes, yeah, I'll catch you soon, okay? Bye for now. See you soon. Bye, Reggie. Thank you.